Hi, so here for Music Radar. We are at NAMM 2022 and we are checking out all the latest guitar technology, then all the pedals, amps, everything we can find. Um, it's been a couple of years since we've been here, so it feels like you know everything's a bit new. There are fewer people than usual, but it seems like that hasn't dampened like the enthusiasm for the show. Um, lots of people milling around. Um, we're about to get in there and check out some all the latest cool gear and we're going to show that to you right now. So let's go. One of the biggest announcements of the show was a new collaboration between Ernie Ball and Tosin Abassi. The Kaizen is positively dripping in innovation and high-end refinery. We were rather taken with the Infinity Radius neck, which allows for greater visibility of the fretboard. Ernie Ball's new heat-treated pickup technology was also on display, with a custom heat-treated humbucker in the bridge position and a slanted custom-made mini humbucker in the neck position, which are both unique to the Kaizen. The Tosin show rolled on as we headed down to the Abassi concept booth with the launch of the new Emmy model. This new double-cut silhouette comes in three flavours. A Strat-like sync string model with a trio of Fishman Fluence single coil pickups that offer two voices. A single scale seven string with the same Goto 510 floating tremolo system as the six string, but rolling with two Fluence humbuckers instead. There's a multi-scale eight string with two Fishman Fluence single coil pickups, voiced by Animals as Leaders bandmate Javier Reyes, and Tosin's signature Demarzio humbucker in the bridge. We were also treated to a sneak peek at a prototype nylon string guitar, a super slim Lorada shape, which also features Fishman's Aura modeling system. The difference engine from Black Country Customs was the headlining act at the Laney booth. You get three distinct delay eras in one. Analog mode for lots of tape emulation and space echo vibes, the digital mode for some serious 80s action, think long delay times and freeze functionality, and finally, the dynamic mode lends itself to the 90s with modulated repeats and ducking options. The best bit though, is that you can blur the historical lines and combine all the functions from the different modes on this pedal. Hotly anticipated amp modelers at the show was the Two Notes Revolt, which comes in both guitar and bass flavours. The Revolt guitar and Revolt bass are floor based units with all analog signal paths, the warmth and tone of a 12AX7 preamp tube running internally at 200 volts. Whether you want to run it as an amp sim, a DI, or expand your current amp with three extra channels and an overdrive boost using the four cable method, Revolt has got you covered. Athens-based Dreadbox announced two new pedals at NAMM, the Treminator Tremolo and Raindrop Stereo Delay Effects, and there was also a chance to see the newish Disorder fuzz pedal for the first time. Raindrops is a thousand milliseconds of modulated pitch shifting delay that can bring forth some very nice reverberating stereo delay lushness. Treminator is a multi-waveform LFO that will be just as at home at playing with your Eurorack system as it would be on your pedal board with the extra CV control. A disorder is quite an aggressive little gated fuzz monster with a high gain self oscillating filter.
Morris Audio Unveiled Law, a reverse soundscape generator pedal. Law is a combination of analog reverb and delay signals interacting with one another. Five programs are available that inspire you to experiment with harmonic content, delay times, reverb trails and modulation. While not strictly ready, the Ampex came to NAM as a work in progress, with Thomas Blug keen to show how the project is progressing. This 100 watt nano tube pedal amp is shaping up quite nicely, with a slow 100 model and some tasty reverbs being shown off by Thomas himself. But alas, our demo fell foul to technical difficulties and so we were robbed of any usable audio. Not to worry though, you can take it from us that the Ampex is shaping up rather nicely and we can't wait to see the finished article in action. The hardware division to Jack White's Third Man Records probably had our favourite booth at the show. The brand was launching a brand new MXR Double Down collaboration which just so happened to be hooked up to this epic Tesla Coil-esque installation. Alongside its other stable mates including the Plasma Coil, Triple Graph, Matic Flex and the bumble fuzz. There was some serious fuzzy pedal mangling to be had here. <laughs> 